The psychologist Eric Fromm once referred to man as the freak of the universe, and that's because, unlike animals, as far as we know, that we have an heightened ability to actually plan and monitor and evaluate our own thinking, feelings and behaviour. For example, as I'm making this one slide video, I can be thinking about, right, how do I get this across in the most useful way? Well, it's a unique human capability, we think. And this is what is typically referred to as metacognition or self-regulated learning. So let's reinforce this a little bit. Traditionally, uh, metacognition, and the term has been around a long time, it's not one of these new psycho bubble words, and it's, it typically referred to our ability to think about our own thinking and analyze and evaluate it. However, more recently, metacognition encompasses, um, especially from the field of neuropsychology, this is an understanding of how the brain works in terms of affecting cognitive and other mental processes. So it now includes emotional regulation, not just cognitive regulation. And what's also interesting is that while we can be very conscious, hence metacognitive, of our behaviour, it also works at sub and unconscious levels. Here's one of the famous definitions of self-regulated learning, Shunk and Zimmerman. Um, and again, if you look at what it's saying, process by which learners personally activate and sustain cognition. In other words, that we become conscious of our thinking, our feelings, effects, and our behaviours. And we, we, we plan these and monitor and evaluate them um, towards the attainment of learning goals. Now, if you compare and contrast that notion of metacognition and Schunk and Zimmerman's um, definition of self-regulated learning, it looks like they're saying pretty much the same thing, about the same thing. And it's a nice analogy for those of you who have had children or are young enough to remember watching Winnie the Pooh and the famous tiger in there called Tigger. On one episode goes into, I think it's Winnie the Pooh's house and looks in the mirror, but not conscious of looking in the mirror, but says, well, hold on a minute, what's that? And Winnie the Pooh says something like, just looks like another Tigger to me. In other words, that maybe one way of looking at this uh, metacognition, self-regulated learning issue is to see them as, if you like, two sides of the same coin. And in the literature, not surprisingly, there is different views on this. And... Um, what I want to do in this whole series, and particularly in this episode here, is to perhaps clear up um, this Tigger in the mirror um, problem in relation to metacognition and self-regulated learning. Some researchers see self-regulation as the primary organising concept, and metacognition is part of this, and others see it the other way around. So, what's the best way of looking at it? Well, you can... Do some reading, research, uh, think about it, be metacognitive about it. For me, I like to see it like this, that from a teaching and learning point of view, let's concentrate on developing the mental capability of metacognition, because if we can get people, students, to be more metacognitive, providing there is a, a, an underpin pinning value system about what they learn and how they behave, that self-regulation will come out of enhanced metacognitive capability. So, have a little think about that one and we'll move on.